California lighthouses at Alcatraz and Fort Point served to guide ships through the strait known as the Golden Gate into San Francisco Bay, but a light was also needed on the north side of the strait to help vessels coming from the south. There were several shipwrecks near high Rocky Point Bonita, and funds were soon appropriated. A conical brick lighthouse went into operation on May 2, 1855. The light was nearly 300 feet above the sea. Point Bonita became the first West Coast light station to get a fog cannon in 1855. It was the first fog signal of any kind on the West Coast. The keeper was required to fire a blast with the cannon every 30 minutes in times of fog. Point Bonita sees an average of more than 1,000 hours of fog each year, meaning the keeper sometimes went for days with little rest. An assistant was hired, and two families had to share the station's tiny dwelling. A bell with automatic striking machinery replaced the cannon after about a year, and then a steam-powered whistle replaced the bell in 1872. The old fog cannon is now on the grounds of a Coast Guard station in Alameda, California. Largely because the original position was veiled in fog so much of the time, the lighthouse was rebuilt in 1877 at a much lower position on the western extremity of the point. The lantern and lens were transferred from the original tower, and the new lighthouse, 124 feet above the sea, went into service on February 2, 1877. To access the new site, a 118-foot-long tunnel was carved through the hard rock. The tunnel was dug by Chinese laborers who had previously dug tunnels for the Transcontinental Railroad. A path over the rock led out to the lighthouse, but a landslide in 1944 made access difficult and a wooden suspension bridge was built. Herman Engel became the third assistant keeper at Point Bonita in 1900. The Engel family was awakened at 5.12 a.m. on April 18, 1906 by the violent shaking of what would become known as the Great San Francisco Earthquake. The house remained standing but suffered great damage. The doors were jammed, so Herman Engel had to get his family outside through the kitchen window. The house was so badly damaged that the Engels had to live in the fog signal building for two years until a new dwelling could be finished. In April 1981, the light station became the last one in California to be automated and de-staffed. The National Park Service opened the station to the public in 1984.